Why is China rejecting our recycling? It's what we're talking about today in the eCentral Business Show. I'm John Naylor, joined by Rachel Bajant from Miltech Australia or Miltech Queensland, yeah? Thank you, John. Thanks yeah. for coming on the show. It's now, my this subject of like China rejecting our rubbish, I've heard a little bit about it. I'm a bit, bit worried about it. I don't know. Yeah. Is it, you know, what's going on? Do you know the story? Well, yeah, it is a bit of a nightmare at the moment. Basically, China has been recycling. Um, 50% of the world's waste that goes to recycling. 50%? For, yep, for the wow. last 20 years. And for the world? For the world, yep. Wow. And they, they have decided, and, and fair enough, because the waste has been uh, contaminated in a lot of cases mm. uh, by people that have done the wrong thing, they've put you know, dead animals, they've put, you name it, has gone into it, the Chinese people have said that's enough. It's and going there container load at a time, yeah? Yep. And now, and now what they're doing is they're checking every single container as it comes into the port. And that didn't used to happen. And so every single container is checked and they look and they're looking at the quality of the product coming in. Now what mm. happens if it's, if it's no good? Are they sending it back? Yep. Are you kidding? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a nightmare. No, yep. okay. So that's the thing. Now I know that Miltech produce, you produce a range of beautiful products for in terms of compacting, compressing mm -hmm. rubbish and that sort of thing. So. Yep. But so what's the, at the core of this? What are people going to do? I mean, that's whether it's business or residential. People are going to be have got to be more have got to be better at recycling. They do. So yeah. so my world is more in business than residential. Mm. Um, and so the business the businesses that we work with, what they do, and a lot of them are doing it really really well. Like yeah. they're, they're just terrific. And the the waste that we target are things like cardboard, plastics, polystyrene. Um, even even wooden pallets are fantastic, but oh, okay. but plastics and cardboards are really really good for reducing the actual volumes and sorting when you actually create them, and you get beautiful product that is perfect for the recyclers. They they love it. Okay. And so if if businesses can. Um, when they create the waste in their production lines, look at how they how they uh, present it to the recyclers, and if they can present it in a form that's good. They will have no problem at all. Just, okay. just terrific. So, mm -hmm. what do you say? That really, it's got to be nice and neat, clean, and yeah. a little bow tied at the top of it. Almost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. And, and so, but China has, you know, said enough's enough. We're not yep. taking dirty recycling Correct. kind of thing. So, yep. but they're still a powerhouse and still obviously a, a large manufacturing business, and they have a lot to offer in terms of recycling. So. What, at what point, though, does it make sense to send something all the way to China for recycling? What are the what are the things they're good at? Well, what that what they're good at is things like plastic shrink wrap. The clear plastic shrink wrap is is a fantastic product for recycling because it's clear. It can be recolored and used to form other other plastic products okay. rather than you know being sent to landfill. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's a really perfect product. And of course, when it comes off the pallets. In you know all the businesses that we work with, it's an easy product to for the the staff on hand to just put straight into say a little compactor, compact it into bales, and then stack those neatly, mm. and and they are picked up by trucks, and and you know you can reduce the volume uh, of uncomp of uncompacted loose shrink wrap by say eighty to one. It's, eighty it's, to one. It's all air. It's all air. Oh, of course, because it's all yeah. sort of got a little bit of tensile strength or a little bit of yeah. rigidity in it, so it wants to yep. expand if you don't put... It does, and, and, it, and, and so that's why we tie it off. And okay. so then I've got beautiful little bales or large bales, mm. and, then, and then that product, and because it's nice and neat, then, the, um, then it can stack beautifully in the containers mm. uh, and, be, and be sent across in a form that can be recycled. And we do have actually local recyclers who actually do some recycling with that Well, I was going to locally. touch on that. So there's, yeah, yeah. there's a range of local there uh, are. Uh, recyclers that do take this product to turn it into something Correct. good. Correct, yeah. And, and look, uh, up, up until now, it hasn't been, it, it's been not so cost effective for them to do it. But the exciting thing is, is that now they can, they're, they're, this is an emerging market and I would love to see more of it in Queensland because I'm faced with all this you know, fantastic you know, cardboard and plastic that we could recycle and divert. And, and I think there'll be a really you well, know, that's a I know you, you seem quite the, passionate around the subject. Oh. You know, we were talking to you off camera, we spent about an hour and a half on it <laughs> talking about it. So, yeah. yeah, this is a woman that is genuinely very passionate about uh, recycling. And, I am. Uh, and you've yeah. got a product range, yeah? And that's why yeah. you've been in the business for so long now. Let's wrap up this video and move on to another subject. We're going to do about a series of four if you're uh, watching these. Go graze across the rest or go find them on YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever. But uh, how do people get some more 
you know, or get you involved in looking at their, you know, in a business situation and if they're recycling and how they're doing that effectively, how they get hold of you, Rachel? Okay, well, the businesses that we, we sort of target that we can really help straight off are businesses that are doing, say, three to four um, three cubic metre um, bins of general waste or cardboard mm. uh, every week. That, okay. that size is kind of where we can really help. Anything bigger than that is just fantastic. And the way to contact us is to either, um, we, we have a, an email, qld at miltech.com.au mm-hmm. or go onto our national website and it'll put you straight through to Queensland yes. and or, or contact us on 1800 Miltech. Yeah. Love, to, love to talk to you. Oh, fabulous. All right. And just wrapping up around that, just for, for me as an uneducated person. So yeah. when you say a three metre cubic bin, that, that's those, yeah. those ones are about the truck width and they flip them over the back, yeah? That's right. Yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. And they're all over it. All yeah. right. So three, <laughs> so three of those a yeah. week. That's, that's brilliant. And above that is where the mm. systems you have really start to kick in. Correct. Oh, yeah. Fabulous. Okay, that's enough done for this episode of the East Central Business Show on the very delightful and engaging and passionate project of recycling with Rachel, Bage, uh, Rachel Bagehead from Miltech Queensland. We'll speak to you next time. Thank you very much for watching another episode of the East Central Business Show. What we're doing on the East Central Business Show is we're bringing you business leaders and the best of the knowledge, we wanna bring them on the show and release that content so that that's something that we can share with you by this easy to consume format. So you can follow us across LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google Plus, or just regularly visit the eCentral.com.au slash show website, pick out the best things for you and educate yourself on that premise. Now there's video content there for you, so you can just watch the video and, and, and inform yourself in your own time. We've also now podcasting that content as well, so it's really simple to consume. You can listen to it on the way to work in the car or during your daily exercise regime. Beyond that, we're also looking to connect with business experts. So if you consider yourself to be an expert in your field, please make contact so we can schedule you in and have you come on the show. So you can release your content and increase your brand across our format. Uh, Beyond that, we also invite people to send us their email address so we can send you our monthly magazine. And that's just the best of the content, the best of the videos for the month, put out uh, once again in an email, arrives in your inbox, so you can just go through and pick out the things that are really gonna educate you and advance you in your field of expertise and in business. We're a business-focused show. So thank you very much once again for watching, and we'll see you next time.